Welcome to another breakdown of this angry father who pushed the referee. My first video already got 2,000 views over a 24-hour release. So I was like, hey, let's make another follow-up to this. So let's watch the video first. All right, they're going at it. And the kid on this, I'm going to silence the video. Now, if you look, the kid was had his hand on the guy's foot, and that's why the ref stopped. Okay, and he comes in and he's giving him a warning. Here comes the angry father, took five to six steps. His wife is right behind him, and this is what the father does. He pushes the ref. All right, the father does eventually get arrested, okay? Now... He gets arrested in the state of Virginia. In the state of Virginia, first time offense, it's a misdemeanor, a simple assault, 12 months in jail with a $2,500 fine. That's 12 months with no father figure in this young man's life. Now, is the father the breadwinner, uh, the breadwinner of the family? Is the father the only one that has a job? What's that gonna do to the family structure? Now, some of you might be saying, well, it doesn't matter. It's the father's fault. He shouldn't have done it. Yeah, but now this kid has to live with his mom for 12 months while the father's in jail. And is the father still in jail? Does he have to stay in jail until he goes to the court date? <clears throat> Does the father have a past criminal behavior? If he does, he's going to be spending a lot more than 12 months in jail. And for what? For misbehaving at a wrestler's uh, match and by pushing this referee, which was totally uncalled for. And as you just saw, he pushed him and he pushed him hard. And yes, that's simple assault. So my question to you is, is 12 months in jail and a $2,500 fine, is that good enough uh, punishment for the offense of simple assault? Now, some would argue, well, the guy's, you know, a lot bigger than the ref. If you look at the video where I paused it, yeah, the father's more muscular, but they seem to be about the same size. If you take off the hat and you straighten out the body length, they're probably about the same height. The father might be an inch or two bigger. And the ref looks a little older. So you probably put age into the bracket of the simple assault. Uh, also, the father put his own son in danger because I want you to watch where the ref landed and how the ref landed because he came pretty close to falling onto one of the other students. The other student had to jump out of the way. Let's watch that part of the video. Okay, I have to make the video a little smaller so we could see where he landed. All right, so watch it one more time. He was pretty close to it. I mean, his, his son had to kind of move out of the way. And the uh, the other student, and here they all come in, you know, stopping the fight. The other uh, wrestler, and what we'll do is we'll go here. And I'm going to make the screen just a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go back and watch the video. All right, he's stopping it. Watch where the ref lands. I mean, 
he came pretty close to uh, I have to make this screen a lot smaller all right so you guys could see how close the father came to shoving I mean the kid in white is the, the son is backing up backing up to get out of the way and so kid, did the kid in red so father endangered his own son's life by doing this push and it took way too long for these other refs to come and get in between because right where I paused look where like the the ref is pointing towards the father but he's not really looking at him he's using a peripheral vision to look at him while the other ref is starting to come in that is too close for the ref that got pushed from the father the father could have easily uh, attacked him right at this point before the other ref got there and he didn't and so he was very very lucky that he didn't uh, attack him and there's the other ref coming in between the ref that got pushed made a really smart decision here by moving out of the way talk to him saying you're out of here you're banned but the wife is getting her two cents in and you can't talk to her kid that way you can't talk and then the other ref got in between so the uh, referees did a really really great job here but once again what kind of penalty is he gonna get and is he gonna get the 12 months that he deserves absolutely hands down he deserves the 12 months in jail $2,500 fine he absolutely deserves that but with the overcrowded of jails, he's going to get on, get out on early on good behavior. What's going to happen? It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens in the future. If you guys uh, love this video, please consider subscribing. Please, in the comments down below, send me links to other viral videos that you guys want me to do a breakdown on, and I will do a breakdown. All right. I will see you guys in the next breakdown video. Thanks for watching.